Okay. So I think I'm super pumped for how we have been in the in the course so far in reviving the, the technical documentation focus group so far. The journey in the last one to two months has been exciting from attendance to contributions that we've made and aside attendance, other stuff. So first of all, I want to ask you guys how you guys are, are doing and then wish you guys happy new month. So I think I would want to hear you guys' voices. If you can, you could just unmute to say something, maybe happy new month wishes or just something. Hmm, nobody wants to talk. <laughs> okay. Happy new month, guys. Sorry, um, can you repeat the question? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, we should just unmute and then say happy new month. You oh, know, say happy something. new month. <laughs> <laughs> so like, say happy new month, everybody, yeah. So... Um, yeah, how are you, Ifang? If that's the right pronunciation. Hope yeah, you guys okay, are. I'm good. Okay, I'm how good. Are you doing? I'm good. We thank God. So for the form, please do well to fill in your name. I'll be sharing the document again, and do well to do well to put in any issues you want us to talk about in the conversation. We could just. Just write it there and then we'll talk about it. So, but then I think we could start with the plans for Hacktober first. So, I'll give you guys details and we'll talk about it. Then we'll focus on the issues next. Hope Sorry, that's okay. good um, I, I can't be here right now because I'm busy, but I just stopped by to mention something i added this in the doc but let me know if you need any clarification before i drop off okay let me see why you dropped okay. see the issue has to do with i added a link to the issue that i'm referencing So you want to know if there's a coding style guide for chaos in general? Yes. Also, is it necessary? Because if we don't have one and we need one, then we need to create one so that we can close um, this person's pull request. So I think that there are various coding style guides for each project because of the technologies that are being used and also the way the, the maintainer would want it to be structured. But on regards badging, I think the right person I'm going to move this to is Adenka and I'm trying to remember the next person. I think Adenka and somebody else, I think is Enoch on the badging project in terms of coding style guide, right? So that we know the right pictures or illustrations to put there. But if they don't give me a reply, I would reach out to Elizabeth on Slack. But I think I've requested for a document like this for my day in and she says she's going to get, get, give me a feedback later. She reached out today. So but I'm going to follow up on it and then reach out to you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Yeah, have fun. Okay, so on the October 1st, can you guys see my screen? Somebody's complaining about my screen. I'm sharing my screen. Can you guys see my screen? Hi, Hamani. Can you hear me? Yes. No, we can't see your screen. Your screen is a very thin line, but we can't see anything. Wow. I don't think it's like showing fully. It's like maybe a thin line that just showing. I thought it was my network, but now that everybody is saying that, oh, it's. You can't see the screen. I think it's general. Yeah, I think it's general. 
what can you guys say now? Can you guys see my full screen? Yeah, I can. Okay, perfect. So we're talking about, I was talking about uh, a particular issue created that Precious was looking towards. So I would want us to talk about the plans for Hacktober first. The last meeting we had, we said we are going to, we decided on, most people went for Dog Scavenger as the events that we are having for October 1st in the technical documentation focus group. But just like a recap, we had three options, fix the dog box. So fix the dog box was going to be about identifying bugs in documents and fixing them. Then dog sprint is basically looking for issues within documents or documentation issues and fix them as a 14 day challenge. Why? Dog scavenger is the combination of both fix the dog box and dog sprint. It's basically we are going to scout for issues, create issues as much as we can, and we are also going to fix issues that either we have created or other persons have created. I think there are people that are very good in terms of spotting issues in documents and creating issues, and I also think there are also persons that are good and that are good with fixing those issues so that's why we settled on dog scavenger i think there's only one person that didn't settle on this but yeah in the conversation we settled on this and i've made a document on dog scavenger which i would have a conversation with everybody today and would make decisions on various touch points you get so one of the questions we had was are we going to do it individually or by groups and which i reached out to a couple of other persons in other focus group and the suggestion and one of our objectives has to do with collaboration and i think working individually or by group is something that is that should be encouraged right we also spoke about mediums of preparation for this event in hacktober first and a workshop was also deliberated on so we are going to talk about it. I'm going to be sharing a document that I made, but before that, I don't know if there's any question from anybody from the score so far. Is there any question? You could just do well to raise up your hand or just unmute your mic and talk. I think there's no question. I don't know if I'm sure, but there's no question. So far, before we move to this document completely, I think we need to know that this meeting is going to be conversational. It's not an announcement. We should talk. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Could you see yeah. your screen a little bit, please? I do what, sorry. So your screen, your screen a little bit. The screen. Sorry, what happened to my screen? No, you're in your more. Can you zoom it a little bit, please? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Is this perfect? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, thanks. Okay. So, the first thing is in this document is basically like the brief which I, I explained. So Doc Scavenger is basically going to be a an event where contributors will be able to create issues, fix issues within different project and repository in the chaos ecosystem or open source project that relates to documentation. That's the first thing first. So and the objectives are to increase collaboration and participation amongst co contributors bring more persons into open source ecosystem, improve and fix documentation issues within various project repositories, educate and enhance knowledge amongst newbies and existing contributors. This, I feel like, should be like the core benefit and objective of what we're going to do. So we talked about a two-week sprint, so a 14-day challenge which I think is not too much or too short, but I want to hear you guys' thoughts on that. I think I'll be calling names to talk. Would that be fine? 
Sofia. Hello. Hi, Sofia. Hello. Yeah, Hello. I think we'll start calling teams. What's your thought, anyway? It's um okay with what you've said so far, it's actually amazing. I mean, um so it's actually a, a good way for people to get interested in in um open source because I recently shared um, the education project I did and a lot of people I know were really interested in like they were asking questions like oh how can they get into open source like how can they do some and some of these people are like technical writers on their own but they do not really understand how this open source work works so this something like this is going to be very good if we have like something that could like maybe a brief intro. I don't know. I think yes. I think there's a, a brief intro in one of those education projects on how to get them started and all of that. It's going to be. But I have a question. When exactly is this October first even starting? Because me, I do even. So it actually does actually started yesterday, first of October, oh. by different people. So it's yeah. like like a first or a tech related stuff that happens between first to the last day of October. So various communities projects, companies are doing something within the month and tagged October 1st. Oh, okay. That's actually very interesting because I know October is for, um, in, in cybersecurity, October is also the cybersecurity awareness month. So I think I'm going to be very busy this, this month and I'm quite excited about it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, I think I'll call somebody else. Gloria, do you have any thoughts? Ifang, Gift, IJ. I'm seeing everybody. Is there any thought? You don't have to talk. You could just drop a text if you don't want to, or just say something. Hi, I'm Moni. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Okay. Okay. So, I just wanted to add something to what you just said to Sophia about Hacktober Fest, right? You forgot to mention, to like fully participate in Hacktober Fest, you have to submit four pull requests and have all four of them merged, right? That's when it's yeah. now, you must not complete like the issues you are assigned within the month, but you just have to like have four pull requests merged to fully participate in Hacktober Fest. Then you can, you have like your time to work on those pull requests. Okay. So I think you guys have heard it. Yeah. So one of the criteria of being uh, a Hacktober first person is ensuring that we reach a minimum goal of four pull requests individually. So we don't have to reach that number and we don't have to do it. It's Gloria. Gloria just spoke. Gloria Johnson. And we don't have to all do it this month, but it's awesome if we do it this month, so we'll just wrap, wrap up things. So I created a roadmap for this mini event that we're having within the focus group. And so that is also going to help us in preparation as well as um, give us like ways or medium of documenting our work within, within this stuff. So in the roadmap, I broke it down into Okay, before we get to the roadmap, these are like suggested activities I think we can do, one of which is improving documents, either through illustrations, diagrams, or anything. Spot and create issues within documents. So we are going to scout. Like I said, it's doc scavenger. So what you do in scavenging is scout. You look for things, you fix things, you create things, you get chaotic, right? So we are going to scout and fix things. The other one is fix created issues and create PROs at least and create at least four PR requests. Yeah. Then create and write article related to open source and chaos project. So I one of the questions I will ask when I was sharing it with people was. What about people that are not technical writers and they want to do something that relates to this project? What could they do? 
but they know how to write. So somebody say about articles that we feel like we don't have much articles that relates to the projects within chaos. It could be an onboarding project. It could be a future within the project that needs um, more evaluations or more attention and stuff like that. But then it's open. I'm thinking I should also ask you guys so that we'll know what other activities that we can do or, or we could partake in within that surrounds documentations and beyond. Please, you guys should talk. Don't be shy. It's open source. Everything is welcomed. If I gift, I think I've not heard gifts for it before. If I, yeah, gift. Sophia, Gloria, IJ. What are the activities that we could do that has not been mentioned or added to the document? Ah, you guys are not saying anything. Um, I don't. I, don't, I can't think of anything other than what you've um, mentioned. Okay. Sophia mentioned about social media engagement. Hmm. Social media engagement. I think we are all going to be sharing our stuff on social media to create more awareness, get more people involved, and stuff like that. But yes, retweeting it also should it should be like a part of the things that we could do. Retweeting, reposting, sharing, and all of that. Sydney, are you here now? Is your network better? Yes, I am. I'm here now. Okay. I'm going to share the documents again so you can take a look at it, including writing your name in the meeting minutes. So for the roadmap, I broke it down into four steps. Publicly, it's going to be three steps, but one of which is resource gathering. And I feel like this week and maybe early next week, we should do more or less gather resource, um, create issues that we can so that there's going to be issues when people join in the project, label issues, which Fusaya uh, um, has actually started, um, get attentions of speakers because we need speakers for the two days workshop which would still talk about and also get resources and sample documents as much as possible so when we are having the workshop we'd have things that newbies like me and you can also look around and also people that would want to enhance that skill set we have something that they can make reference to or refer to why they're trying to either fix the issues or create issues so i'm looking at resource gathering but i have a very big question should we do a one day workshop or a two day workshop it's virtual it's not in person guys um, we could do two so in case um someone cannot um does not have the opportunity to join the first one person can catch up with the second maybe because of meetings or other activities okay okay that's nice and how about the timeline what are we looking at in terms of the time like how long mm, should we target one hour or one hour 30 minutes or something Mm. Hi, how many? One, hour. one hour is enough, but mm -hmm. you can do one hour 30 minutes to be safe. I don't yeah. know, but one hour is enough. Or if one, hour say, minutes, okay. one hour 30 minutes, you can do that to be safe mm. in case there are maybe more questions than we expected and all of that. Okay, um, I'm, uh, so if you are saying one hour, how many hours are we going to say? How many minutes are we like, going to give the speaker? So for the content of the workshop, I looked at, um, where did I even write that thing? So for the content, I'm looking at the first day to be more or less introduction, where we talk about what Doc Scavenger is, what we are looking at for objective, 
and also basic things like teaching them the process of creating an account on GitHub, um, basic steps of how to find like the Hacktober um, tags or search buttons for issues related to Hacktober first and stuff like that for the first day and then introduction get to introduce people about chaos and also about the partners that we probably would have and the speakers and also get to introduce people amongst themselves that's my thought for the first day if we are going to do two days and then the second day we'll go on in-depth practical knowledge and learning teaching people how to create issues teaching people how to create pull requests, either using their, their machine or GitHub systems, basically the GitHub interface systems, and also teaching people what a better document would look like, yeah, an MD document, or what a document would entail in terms of what people should basically look like for a perfect document, either when they are creating it or when they are trying to create issues or spot errors in documents. My thoughts. That's basically my thoughts. But then we're having a conversation, so we'll decide. So Ifan, what do you think? That sounds, that sounds okay. Yeah, and then I wouldn't want the session to be boring. So I feel like longer sessions get boring over time. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Like, how many minutes is allocated to like the speaker for like these workshops? About twenty minutes to thirty minutes stops, depending on what the person is talking about. So let's say if we are being guided on how to do the basic things like create issues and all of that, twenty to thirty minutes is fair. And we are also going to do videos, so they are going to be recording recordings that would also help people to always go back to and look at them. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. So, so one hour the, right now. Yeah, one hour, I think one hour, 30 minutes stops. Shouldn't be more than that. But yeah, one hour. Okay, quick question though. The speakers, they'll be from our working group, right? Yeah, the speakers are going to be mostly from Chaos. I am going to ask for you guys' suggestions for speakers. Let's see if we're going to reach out to them. But I've started reaching out to a couple of persons to see if they are open, you know, to take this thing, to take the mantle and help us. Okay, I was asking if it would be from our working group as in technical writing. Well, okay. Yes, it's going to be from within us and also outside us. So there are persons that might be outside the technical space, like the technical work focus group. But I would try to ensure that they will be available for questions anytime, especially within this month. You know, pack as much questions as we can and answer to people. Okay. I don't know if there's any other question for you from you guys concerning the workshop. Yeah, someone asked in the group how many speakers in the chat. Yes. So here's that document. Okay, I kept this thing. So speakers, I'm looking at a max of four speakers, two, depending on what they want to handle, right? Because scouting for speakers is really hard. And it's like a workshop. People are going to teach, who are going to share their screen, prepare, and stuff like that. And there's not not much ample time. So I'm looking at four at most, two in the first day, two the second day. That's it. Is that okay? Is four speakers okay? We should talk now. Sophia, Gloria. Yeah, four speakers are okay. But um, I haven't checked the document. But like, have we the topics are going to be um discussed? Are, 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 is it listed in the documents? Yes. So these are the topics. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen. So 
the first topic is create a GitHub account and how to navigate the basic steps in GitHub. Know how to create issues and pull requests. Practical steps on how to find Hacktoberfest related issues on Chaos Community and Partner Repos. Basically, step by step process to find these issues, right? Because from the community or the global community meeting we had yesterday, they mentioned not all issues are um, not all issues are going to be Hacktoberfest worthy in terms of like new newbies right so there are going to be selected issues from different projects that anybody can contribute to regardless of level of experience or knowledge so these issues are going to be labeled Hacktoberfest documentation or something then get to know the objective and how social document and how to social document their progress using hashtags and access to help and resources basically saying how you could get help when you need help who to mention the names to mention and you know stuff like that okay so if we have um five topics uh, and uh, four speakers one speaker would like to take up two topics Yes, one speaker will take up two topics. I think creating a GitHub account and navigating the process and how to create issues and pull requests, these two can be merged to one person. Okay. Or two persons, depending on how deep it is. Access to resources and help. Basically how the things that they should um, look out for, for a perfect document, what makes up a perfect document. One person will be able to take up that mantle, then get to know the objective and how to social document using um, document their process using hashtags and also you know proof of work online and also within the repo. I, will, I probably will be able to take this one to talk about what it is and what it's expected from everybody. Then these practical steps could also be taken by somebody. But then I would love, I would love us to have speakers from the working group, like within us. I think I can do the first two. Yeah, the first two. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me add suggested speakers. This has been closed. I don't know why. But I'll check. Yeah, Gloria, please speak. Yeah, I want to ask if a date for the workshop has been fixed. Yeah, we are going to talk about the dates. Like I said, we are going to decide on everything ourselves together, everybody. I'm just going to give input where I think I, I can give input or suggestions. Okay, the next thing that I think we should talk about is, are we done with the workshop? Is there any other concerns or questions from anybody? Sophia, Cindy, I think Cindy, this is your first time here. Cindy. I don't okay. have any questions. Yes, Okay, okay, thank you. Sophia mentioned if there's a graphics. Yes, there's going to be a graphics. I'll be working towards it with the with Kinsley to see if we can get graphics on everything from the workshop to everything. And I'm looking at Monday for the first announcement. And basically, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know if that. Yeah. Then the next question is going to be, okay, for speakers, can we have suggested speakers? Like, what do you, who do you guys think we should invite or who do you guys want to see? Um, 
anybody that you guys would want to say. So, I don't know if you guys know Busayo. I reached out to Busayo. I reached out to Gift, Gift, Gift Fan. Yeah, she was in this meeting today. And I think we have, what's her name again? She was there, she was in this call. Just can somebody remind me her name? Sorry, I do. Sorry about the distance. You want anybody, like anybody. Um. Gloria, would you want to speak? Gloria, Sophia, IJ, Cindy, you guys want to speak? Hi, Hamon. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, yeah. The reason why I asked if a date for the workshop has been fixed and like a schedule is to be able to know if I can, if I would have time to get, because I don't want to say, oh, and then there was one topic. Please, oh, come on, let me go through. There was one part you got to, and I was looking at maybe I could um take that day, but there's there's no schedule yet, so I don't know. So which one would you think? This practical, practical step for how to find Hacktober first related issues. Yeah, I could do that, but it depends on the time and day. So okay, speaking of time and day, yeah, I'm looking at the fact that we can do this weekend. This is it. What are you guys thinking? Let me pull up a calendar. Did you say weekend? Up. Like Saturday, Sunday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I feel like weekend would be nice due to the fact that we want much people to be there. Can you guys see my calendar? Yeah. I don't know how to expand this to be big. Don't tell me I'm getting old. Shadow now to expand this, but then. So today's second. Can you guys see my calendar? Yes, Simon, you can see your calendar. Yeah, so today's second. We have third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So I'm suggesting the 14 days should be between 13th or 14th on Monday to 28th. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yes, fourteen to twenty-eight, two weeks, which is like the two last weeks of the month. What do you guys think? Should we go with this fourteen to twenty-eight as the period? Yeah, I think that works. So that's like one week. Is one week before and one week after. I think that works. Yeah, so one week. So it's going to end on the 28th. It's not up to one week left, though, after. But yeah, 14 to 28. Then I'm looking at the workshop to be, if we are going to do 14 to 28, I'm looking at the workshop announcement. First of all, the announcement about Doc Scavenger by the Technical Writers Focus Group on Monday next week to create more awareness first. So the only thing I am thinking is doing the announcement on Monday, should we have, um, should we talk about the roadmap, like the things that we plan to do? So for the roadmap, if you look at this document here, yeah, for the roadmap, I'm looking towards us doing the roadmap to just be three three pointers. So we have removed this resource gathering chart. We have the two days workshop. We have the 14 day sprint dog scavenger. And we have either Twitter space or Zoom closing conversation. So this last day for Zoom closing conversation is basically going to be 
a, a space just like they did in all in one open source right on zoom where we talk about we just come to you know talk about the lessons that we have learned we talk about conversations we talk about feedbacks we talk about um we just review pull requests together and stuff like that you could have one or two and then music maybe if we have incentives we could play trivia if we have incentive i'm hoping we do have incentives right we could play trivia within those things what you guys thought so first of all the zoom or closing conversation party a day just a day one hour call normal is it a good idea Ah, uh, you guys should talk now. Sophia, Gloria, IJ. Yeah, I think it's fine. That's fine. So looking at the calendar, if we're going to do the, the Zoom party and we are closing October, October 1st on the 28th, should we do it on the 28th or should we do it on the 29th, Tuesday? Twenty ninth. So, if we are doing it twenty ninth, what time are we looking forward? From the from the bulk of my calendar, we are looking at five pm to six pm Nigerian time. We have between four to six pm Nigerian time. Okay, I would say four pm so that it would you could consider others in different time zones because you don't know how early or how late. But I think 4 p.m. is, well, if you have like access to your other participants and you can like confirm what time you would prefer. But for me, I think I would say 4 p.m. So it'll be done before 9. Okay, okay, that'll be Like 9 before it gets too late. 4 p.m. US time. Let me check. 4 p.m. U.S. Central. 4 p.m. U.S. Central, it's basically um, Chicago time. Let me check. It's 11 a.m. I guess. I think 11 a.m. is a good time. Okay, if we're using US time, then you can just maybe leave it at five for us since it will be noon their time. Yeah. Abi? Yeah. So for the workshop, what time are we looking at? So if we are doing the, um, please, I'm trying to document as much as I can. So 14 days challenge, we are looking at 14th to 28th October, October, then that's a closing party on Zoom. We are looking at 29th. Um, 29th, 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Abby suggested 5 p.m. October. Okay, that would work. Then, um, for the workshop, yeah, so for the workshop, what time should we look at? So, if we are going to do, let's look at um, calendar. So if we're going to do, if we're going to start by 14th, I think we should do the workshop a bit close between 11 to 13. So there's not going to be a long time. You get like space after the workshop to actually start. Yeah, that makes sense. So if we're doing between 11 to 12, first of all, can we do weekends, Saturday and Sunday? Or between Friday to Saturday, Sunday. 
evenings precisely one hour 30 minutes stops fridays are usually very busy yeah friday is usually very hectic for a lot of persons especially people coming back from work and we want to get as much people as we can so should we look at saturday and sunday I would suggest Saturday and Sunday. Gloria. Evening. Yes, yeah, Saturday and Sunday works. Around probably between 4 p.m. We could stick with 5 since we are doing 5 p.m. already. Okay, okay. So on Saturday, we don't have anything in chaos. On Sunday, we don't have anything in chaos. That's happening in chaos. So, now the very big question would it be able would it, is it going to affect other people in different time zones knowing fully whether it's saturday and sunday there's going to be recordings anyways i don't think it's road now it's weekend and most people catch up on whatever things that they have missed or they are intending doing the coming week on weekends so most times saturday and sunday is like a time to get the kids to do stuff you want to do job probably for catching up on the past ones so i don't think that would be a problem okay gloria any setback from you Thirteen, twelve, and thirteen. Twelve, Saturday, and this is next week. Oh, so five p.m. to six thirty, approximately. So Gloria, is it a time, do you think it's something that you can do? Is, does it look like a time that can work for you? Gloria, here. Yeah. If you're going to speak, yeah, is it something that can work for you, these practical steps? Oh God, she's not hearing me. You're muted. I don't know if you're speaking. I don't know if she says that, but then I'll come back to it. Sophia, would you want to speak on anything? No. Okay, I think I'll do this. Or arrange the topics for speaking. Speaking. Okay, I have a question rather. This get to know the objectives and how to social document their process using Ashta. Are we talking about the social media stuff that we'll be sharing? Is that what it's about? Hey, I'm on you. Hey, I'm on you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, hear me. Can anyone hear me? Hey, wait, network.
Deme. Can you guys hear me? Yes, just that I hear you. Okay, thank God the recording didn't stop. My network went off. Can you guys see my screen? Can you guys see my screen? Okay, perfect. So you wanted to ask a question, Sophia. Sophia, sorry, you wanted to ask a question. Yes, what I wanted to ask was the what's what's that? Um no, can you go up on your screen on the topics of no 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 no. Hey, hey. I was asking this get to know the objectives and how to social document progress. Is it the um how to document the whole challenge and everything on social media? Is that what we're talking about with hashtag so and rest? yeah it's about um okay it's basically how to show should document like how you're going to document your progress like ways that you could you know partake in it in terms of ways that you could use proof of work as a step in your career social media wise or on chain do you understand okay yes 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 because I, I think one of the things that helps with Hacktoberfest is the fact that it gives people that participate in it a sense, a, a sort of like an attention within their social media space. So it's a good thing for people to know how they can, you know, how they can, you know, milk the, 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 uh, the work that they're going to do in their career, for their career. So in, you can use it to create trends on GitHub, you could document the process. You create videos and stuff like that. So you're basically, if you're going to speak on it, you're basically going to outline the benefits, not just the benefits, ways that they can document it as well. Do you understand? So Sophia, is there some, is this something that you want to jump upon? Is this something you want to jump upon? Can you text or unmute? Can you hear me? Okay, thank you. I've taken note of that. Sophia. Sophia. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah. Then me harmony. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. in documentation in that works can you guys hear me that works i did not hear anything no can you hear me now yes but i your audio went off for like let's say a minute or two so i didn't hear anything. okay so, so i don't know what that's in after Okay, I'm saying like the the next this thing, the next step is that we should share resources like links to resources to help us build. Then we would also put interest on somebody that would help us give us to talk about what to look out for in a document. I'll reach out to a speaker for that one, a proper documentation on probably I'll take it up myself. So I think the next step is I would work towards the announcement point of action 
I work towards the announcement. I work towards gathering resources and objective. I'd also work towards a graphics or a design so that they will be able to see it. Looking at Monday. So I think that's it. Are we good? Okay, I think that's it. I will just streamline this meeting minutes and then share it in the group today. Before the end of today, I've shared it. Okay, thank you very much, everybody, for joining this call. It's actually a pleasure. I look forward to us making this dog scavenger a success. Thank you very much.